Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, yes, it has been a couple of weeks and the reason this box is here, I will mention it in my own channel vlog place. There'll be a video for it. I'll link you up if you follow us on Twitter, which you can do so right here. Yeah, so the last couple of weeks have just been like, mm, well, I've just done nothing really. Like after Christmas, I kind of lost my mojo to go out and run again, which has been a bit rubbish because normally I'm like straight back on the training when I've like put on a bit of weight or if I think I've overindulged, I'll go straight back on the roads. But I've ran like three times this year and it's really bad. Like I just, I just can't seem to find the mojo or the the ability to just get my kit on and go out. And I just, I don't know. I, I, but anyways, this video, it's not about me moving on. It's about 2016 and what I've got planned for it. The 2016 is not going to be as busy as last year um, because, well, the first part is I've got to try and adjust to move into somewhere I've never lived before. So I'm going to have to memorize brand new routes, which is a great challenge. I love a challenge. But in terms of competitions, uh, now that I won't be living so much in the Gateshead, Newcastle area, I have to reevaluate what competitions I can and can't do. The first one, the main one, I think it's three main ones. The first one is going to be the Blaine Race. Now, Blaine race, it's it has to be done. I did it last year and I loved it and I want to do it again this year. It's a lot easier to enter, I feel, than the Great North Run. Um, and particularly if you've got an England Athletics number, so I'm going to be using that. Um, I can't wait for that race. That'll be the race for me. It's, it's stacked in tradition. I absolutely love it. If you haven't done it before, go on the website. I'll link it. Um, I think I'll link it along up here. If not, it'll be in the description below. If you love running and you love traditional races, do it, I highly recommend it. Next up is the 10 mile race from um, Mr. Run Eat Sleep Luke Adams, or as he's known, Run Eat Sleep Luke Adams. Yeah, so the 10 mile race, uh, it's gonna be a fantastic debut race because you don't get a lot of 10 mile events up here. So to have one pretty much on my doorstep or where I'm originally from, South Shields. I'm gonna be running 10 miles on a multi-terrain course and it's gonna be spot on for one of the big events coming up. So I cannot wait to get the training done. It's 10 miles, so it's doable. So even if you're like, you're speeding along in like an hour or if you're trotting along within two hours, it's doable. You can do it at your own pace. No one's judging you. Um, sign up for it. I'll, again, I'll put links in the description below. That's one of the races I'm going to do this year, and I'm looking forward to it. I've already entered. I entered early. early? No. I entered late this year because um, the, the general entries went live. I was straight in there, and for what you pay, it's incredible. So go and enter it. Finally, it's the Great North Run. Now, I was debating whether to do it this year. The ballots come right when, like, I have no money. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to hold out and see if I can raise um, or save some cash for myself. The ballot doesn't close until early next month, so I've got loads of time to get money. Originally, I couldn't be bothered because last year's did put me off a little bit, um, if I'm going to be honest. I didn't do particularly well. Well, I've run a personal best, but in terms of how I felt, I felt utter garbage. So, uh, yeah, I want to do the Great North Run this year. It's de it, I debated it. I talked to Emma about it, um, talked to my friends about it, and I don't know. I'm just going to give it a go and see how, you know, I don't think this year it is going to mean I'm going to run a really fast time. I'm just going to take it as it comes. There's nothing to prove anymore. Um, the first run was to get under two hours, the second one was to try and beat it. I've done that, so to run a personal best bonus, to enjoy it again, and pray that it's not going to be like 20 degrees, I can only hold. So yeah, that's... That's my running year to date. Um, the, they're the only three main running competitions I want to do. Um, like the Gator 10K, I'm going to be away for that. Um, I can't think of any 10Ks or 5Ks other than the park runs. I will do some park runs. Yeah, I'll put some park runs in there. Um, I need to find one that's next to Cramlin, you know, in the Cramlin area. So, I need, yeah, I need to find out what's going on there. Um, yeah. So, not exactly a busy year. Um, it's just a case now of just clocking some miles in, getting me feeler back out for running, getting the mojo back, getting the love of the of running again. 
um, rather than just sitting on my arse. Is arse a swear word? So tell me what events you're doing this year in the comments. I don't know where they are these days. Um, either there or there. I don't know. Just let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I am hoping to get some form of weekly vlog up and running again once the chaos has dissolved. Uh, I will be doing another vlog on my other channel, me, my own vlogging channel. Um, so I don't know when that'll be up, but it'll be up pretty soon, I would imagine. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck for 2016. Um, if you've got lots of events coming up, Again, let us know what you're doing. Comment section, do it. And I'll see you later.